Hello there people, my name is Robert and in this video I'll show you how to get Google Places API key for free in five easy steps. I'll be using a WordPress website as an example, but this will work for any type of website. There is no way to do it without payment details, so you will have to enter your credit card or bank account number. But if you have a small site, so less than 15,000 visitors per month on that specific page with the map, this should be totally free for you. Like promoting my socks for free. Tape sweat punch. Step one, let's get started by signing up for Google Developers Console. You will have to enter your credit card details, but you won't be charged as long as your daily API requests stay under the limit, which for most small websites is more than enough. So to create Google Maps API key, it's simple. You just go to Google and search for Google Developers Console. You click on it. Now, because I've already signed up for this, I see this screen. But in your case, if you don't have it, you'll probably see something like this, where you need to sign up for Google Developers account. And you also probably see some uh, questions about billing. And if it doesn't ask the billing questions, you still need to set it up. Otherwise, this won't work. And I know some of you are already leaving this video like this. Why are you running? Why are you running? So to add billing to this Google APIs, all you have to do is when you're in dashboard, come here, click on the hamburger menu and this billing section. And now you can actually link a billing account. If you don't have one, you'll be able to create one. So it'll ask you a few questions. Also, it will tell you that you have $300 of credit to spend in the next 90 days, which is nice. So I'm going to use this account and then continue. And here, just set up everything if you don't have it already. And once it's done, just click on start my free trial. And here, it just notifies that you have the $300 to try out this service. And also, you need to turn on automatic billing if you want it to continue running. So you don't end up like this guy. If you want to know more about the uh, Google's pricing, then head to the description of this video and you will find a link and it will take you to this page, which has more about pricing. Step two, let's enable Google Places API. Basically, you'll, hear, you'll see here, select a project, click on it, and then you can create a new project. And as a project name, just give it something generic, like for example, your website name without the .com, I'm going to name it punch salad and then location or you can just leave it as this and then click on create. You can see here created project punch salad and also here at the top in the drop down you have punch salad. So now what we need to do is go to library and type in places. And what we need is the places API. Just click on it and enable it. Step three, we need to create a credentials for the API key. All right, again, just go to the top, click on Google APIs. And now what we need to do is create credentials. So this is the API key that we need for a plugin or anything to do with Google Maps or places. So let's click on credentials. And you can see there's nothing here. So on top, create credentials and we need API key. You can see it already gives you API key. You can copy it here, but just don't go anywhere yet because we want to restrict this. I really recommend you do it. And Arnie will explain why. It is not pleasant to lose money once one becomes accustomed to its use. Yeah. Spot on, Arnie, spot on. Hey, if you like the video so far, consider hitting the like button. That would help me a lot with the YouTube algorithm. Step four, don't forget to restrict the access to your API so that others won't be able to use your quota. So to restrict it, just click on this restrict key and you can give it a name. Uh, I can just call it the restrict only to my website. And now you can restrict it to specific 
HTTP refers. So for example, I can just say that uh, this only works on my website and nowhere else. And then here I'll click on add an item. So instead of www, I'm just going to type in star.punchsalad.com and then you click on done and add another one, a naked domain. I need your clothes, your boots and your motorcycle. <laughs> it's just punchsalad.com. So without anything in front, just type in like this and done. And in this case, you should be now restricting it only to these domains. So basically it's punchsalad.com. And I'm gonna also click here, restrict the key. And then you can select which APIs, but just select all of them. It's much more safer that way. And then just click on save. Now it's uh, warning you here that it might take uh, five minutes to this setting to apply. So give it a bit of time before you test it. My name is Robert and I'm your website guy. If you're looking to learn more about how to improve your website, get more traffic and other website related stuff, consider subscribing and hitting the bell icon so you get notified about the new videos. Step five, grab the API key and enter it in your website. And if you ever lose the key, you can always copy it here and you can also edit it here, like the restrictions and things like that. And now if you go to your website, you can now place the API key either in your plugin or in the code. It really depends on where do you want to use the Google Places. For example, I have a plugin here where it's asking for Google Maps API key. But actually, this is also the same key for Google Places, which is used for this location thing here. Since you have the API set up now, check out how you can get more traffic to your website by optimizing your own page SEO. A detailed tutorial will appear here. And if you're still looking for the best websites to get high quality images without paying royalty fees, then check out the video here where I show you my favorite sites.